Hello, it's Dr. Triple O Seven, and today's video is a redo of my last video, which was how to set up and use multiple monitors. Unfortunately, the audio on that video really messed up. I really have no idea why, and I didn't check the video before I uploaded it. I just rendered it and put it on YouTube. So unfortunately, that was kind of embarrassing. So I did delete that video, and hopefully, the audio sounds normal in this video. Anyway though, today's video is how to set up and use multiple monitors, so I will go through how to set up and use multiple monitors. Now having multiple monitors anywhere from 2 and up is a really cool thing. Being able to have more space to do your stuff is great. Me personally, I have two 23 inch monitors and I personally love them. When I use one monitor, I feel handicapped. Being able to drive things back and forth and increasing the space is great. So you may ask, why would you use multiple monitors? Like I mentioned earlier, gamers. Gamers can immerse themselves in a 3D world almost by using three monitors and paying, putting the game over across all three screens. People who work in the stock market especially put the charts everywhere on the screens. They can go up to actually like six or seven screens. Now hooking up a monitor is very easy. On a laptop, the, usually on the left hand side is the spot for it. You can use HDMI or the rectangular one like that right there. Or on your desktop, go behind it and usually near the bottom is where you plug it in. Using a tablet, you can also hook up wirelessly and get it like a smaller external monitor. Pretty cool so you can touch as well. Now without any third party programs, Windows does support monitors pretty well. Um, the Windows and the P symbol allows you to customize what it's setup it's currently in. And if you go to screen resolution, you can change um, exactly some more stuff. So you can have the monitor be in portrait. You can have it only show on one display. You can have them mirror themselves. You can change the resolution, which isn't really recommended. You can also have the monitors kind of be on top of each other. So if you currently actually have the monitors in real life above each other, you can do the same setup on the little window there and what that will do is Windows will allow you to drag back and forth between screens easily. It kind of lets know Windows where everything is. Now if you have this, this means the two screens are different sizes or different resolutions. This will work fine, but all it means is when you drag across screens, it's going to change the size of the window. Now Windows 8 has some more options for multiple displays. First of all, it has now the option to show the taskbar across all screens, which means basically you can go across the other screen and open the start menu or any your icons that are pinned. As well as that, Windows 8 also supports the ability to have two different wallpapers. This creates for some possible cool combinations. Being able to have maybe flipping a wallpaper and then having them face each other or flipping it, or just having a long wallpaper in general, like this Paris one. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. My kind of question for you guys is, would you or do you use a multi-monitor setup, and why would you or why would you not? Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully this video turns out way better than the last one. Really sorry with that. And thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for supporting my work. This is Thacker0007, and I'm signing off.